What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Ori and the Blind Forest. Now you might notice something about our UI if you're especially astute and you were looking down to the bottom of the screen, you will notice that we have an extra blue ball. And where did we get that extra blue ball from? Well, we got that from right down here. I was playing around in between episodes because I wanted to make sure I got as many things as possible. All those little collectibles, I am a collectaholic. That's why I love games like Banjo-Kazooie and whatnot. I, I get obsessed about them. It gets a little bit wild. And so this shelf right here had an extra blue energy container that we could use. So an extra soul link or whatever it was called. I don't remember like the precise terminology they use We also have an extra energy point that I earned while I was killing mobs going back down there So let's spend it. I think a really really good one is rekindle It allows you to save more frequently so that if you get stuck you can make like little baby steps forward Just eh, just go out and take little tiny baby steps And once you've made it far enough You will eventually have completed your task and the next one in line is the one that I'm really excited about Every time that you save the game you get life back which allows you to sort of like save on the fly Be careful about that though because I've gotten my myself into trouble with it saving in spots that I can't get out of so there it is I'll probably we can go with the radius increase on charge flame we can go for life efficiency which means that our pickups will give double health or we can go with this one right here which lets us save more frequently I think for right now I will more than likely go with let's go with life efficiency we'll work on this one over here in a second I mean you definitely want to take water breathe Water breathe is really really good because there's going to be a lot of water later on and so when you're dealing with a lot of water You hope it doesn't get hotter by increasing the stress on your system by making you you know gag to death on it However, there's a lot of dirty water and all that skill does it allows you to swim in it Makes it so that Ori develops kind of this nasty little oily coating that makes him no longer affected by gross water Let's go ahead and jump up on up here. Oh No and Let's see if we can get rid of him be careful about those because they do hop and they do pull slightly towards you if you're not careful. I don't know if I want to go all the way back down and grab that one little globe, but you know what? Grabbing globes is something that I think I've always been an excellent student at, and so I figure we shall continue. No, that one disappeared right there. That was the last thing I wanted my orbs to do. Unfortunately, my orb has vanished. I think we should probably go like this, maybe? Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if I can just like spam my way through... Or if that's even wise, but yeah, there we go. We'll use the AoE attack on him. We acquired the AoE ta attack in the previous episode, and I think it is going to be helpful. It's just one of those things where it takes a little time to charge. you got to use your X button, hold it down, and the charge time is pretty quick on it, so you shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but every now and again when you're stressed for time, it's difficult to get off. Eeyoo. Okay, so apparently we've got to deal with some throbbing spider sack up here. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it, but I don't want to go near spiders, so let's... Let's look over here and sort of like see what's waiting for us, shall we? And what is waiting for us? Well, the normal restaurant staff. Nobody out of the ordinary. There's a spider down there, but it looks risky. Oh, there's a ledge right there. Oh, I was right. It was more dangerous than expected, so a little bit of a cheese death right there, but at least we figured something out. That's why the game allows you to save so frequently, is that you're supposed to do stuff like that. This will allow us to get back in here. At least we know it's down in the pit now, so we can check that out. Let me jump back up here. I love the way that the little pedestals sway when you jump on them. Like, it's just a tiny little graphical change that really makes the world feel more alive and more like Ori is interacting with it as well. Like, if these just stayed static, it would just be a set piece, but because they swing and sway around, it makes it feel as though the forest is like this ancient edifice that's just hanging out there, rotting away. But the natural laws of physics still apply. Alright, so going back to the spider sack, at least we know what we have to do now. We have to go back up. And so I think there's always going to be some trial and error in a game like this when you first start playing it, especially if you're not into Metroidvanias. I am. I very much enjoy Metroidvanias, so I guess I don't really have much of an excuse. Still, at the same time, at least we know it's down in the pit now. Have you been to the pit? Alright, yes, spider sack animation. I get it. You're throbbing. You're full of life. Awesome. Play the music from Lion King, except it's slightly less adorable because it's not kittens and it's made of spiders. This spider... Oh, God. Okay, so he shoots. I figured I would move as quickly as possible when I got up on the platform. Seemed to have worked out, worked out okay, but... It looks like the anchoring right there for the spider sack has the same blue stuff as the walls that we can blow up. So maybe that's where we get started. There we go. So if I put you right there, I tell you to detonate. Okay, and so with the sound of a mighty impact, 
We hear our spider set creating the floor for our future adventures. At least I would assume so anyways. Unless it breaks the spikes and then it didn't... Ooh, no. Okay, a little bit of rocking going on. Calm down, calm down. I'm trying to even this out by jumping on it when it rocks that way, but it doesn't appear... All right, whatever. Let's just get off this pedestal. This thing feels very, very precarious and I don't want to be part of it anymore. I would like to excuse myself as though I have been gaseous in the presence of that platform, even though I haven't. Oh no, that was so close. Okay, so I kind of want you right there because your power-ups make me happy. And also they give me more abilities with which to blast my foes, which is equally important. Got ourselves an extra health cell right there, so that'll be really, really nice. Especially since, I don't know, my error tolerance needs to be high because I'm bad at video games. And so, I just, I can't seem to make it. I just can't seem to make that jump. That jump does not like me at all. swing on down through here I think we'll head down through that platform Oop, that's not what I wanted and let's just be very very careful about the way that we spelunk downwards I don't want to spelunk aggressively I want to spelunk very very cautiously okay so the spider sack appears to have occupied the area with a standable surface Jump on over to this platform with the spiders the best strategy seems to be just to keep moving and hope that they don't hit you I don't know exactly where we're going right now. They do mark things on your map though So maybe I should pay attention to mark there we go So mark has been paid attention to he can be happy with himself now It looks like they've also covered these little platforms with spiky substances Is there anything off to the left that we can accomplish right there or am I leaving things behind? I'm a bit of a completionist when it comes to stuff like this So since we're around so many spikes, let me drop a save point right there Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like I'm leaving things, and so I thought that jump might be makeable. You just have to do it a little bit late so that you don't clip your head on that nasty little toe of stone over there. It looks like a toe stone to me. That's what I call it. Not to be confused with the toe stone, which the toe stone is representative of toast and all things bread, but there you go. We found another energy cell, so we're already up to three energy, which is pretty good for us. I like that. It means I'm going to be able to use my AoE a little bit more frequently, and then if we come across any gates that have a higher energy count that require it to be opened, we'll have a tad more to make that work. Don't fall in water, by the way. It is every bit as fa it is every bit as fatal as platforming games of the past would convince you to think. All right, little one, right there. We managed to make a level up, which is pretty sweet. Very, very sweet, in fact. Well lined with the sugar or other nutri sweet related substances. Is this one of the hoppy pads? Okay, so that's a hoppy pad right there. That's pretty cool. We got like a little spirally jump out of that thing. Take out that enemy right there. Is this destructible? It is not, so we can't destroy that. That's fine, because it looks like a load-bearing structure. And everybody deserves to let their load off every now and again. If you've been moving around through life bearing a load, every nuns you just got to take care of it. Take care of it. You deserve it. Treat yourself. Let's destroy some spikes up and in here. Okay. What's over to the left? Anything? Just a lantern? Can I go in through that over there? Because I like health cells. So if that's actually a surface... Oh, we can't. Okay. Every now and again in this game... I've noticed things that look like you can travel behind them. It hasn't been true yet, but when it is, or if it ever is, I'm going to be very, very pleased with myself. A little bit of damage right there. We have a... Ooh, what does he do? Okay, so he's firing big pink balls at me. I'm going to stay away from his big pink balls. And then we have a map stone fragment, so I guess drop that in right there. Oh, never mind. No, we don't. I am lacking in the things that are required in order to make this work. Can I get up there? No, I can't. So we can't reach that. I guess we'll come back in a second once we found a map stone fragment, shall we? Can I make it to there? I did. Awesome. That makes me really, really... Ah, there's the map stone fragment. These look destructible. So I'm going to take my time and get my trampoline on. My Kalen and Miles, if you will. We'll drop into over here. I heard that song on the radio. And so naturally, I am a music file, and so I sort of like look things up and like Google around with things. And the dudes that made that song look like they're about 12 years old, but more power to them. Well done. Well done. Topping them charts, making things happen at a young age. It's impressive. It's very, very impressive. It takes a lot of work ethic to do those kinds of things. Or, you know, a lot of focus or maybe a lot of free time or like maybe enabling parents. Or, I don't know. There's a lot of variables. Either way, though, it's still impressive. No matter what the stipulation is. Can I go over to here? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. What does this do? Alright, I thought it sort of looked like it was made out of the same stuff as everything else. Oh, nope. 
Not feeling brave about that jump right there, but I am feeling brave about that one. Let me get some energy back, too, because we used a little bit right there. Into a yet another spike pit. Watch out for those little slimes on the ceilings. We took them out, though. What is... Ooh. He shoots little goo balls. Not a very good house guest. I feel like he'd have to mop after he came around. Definitely using some of the things from game... Ow. I stepped on that. I knew full well what was going to happen right there, and I did it anyways. I did it anyways. That's the story of my life, though. Identifying threats and problems and then just walking right into them anyways because that's exactly how I like to conduct myself. Being the Roubaix that I am. We'll grab this over here. Very, very good. Oh no, he was able to... That was like the perfect angularity right there to make that happen. Eh! We need a little bit more range, don't we? We need to like put a scope on this thing and make it work a tad better. Can I blow this open right here? This looks sketchy. No, it can't be blown open. Well, there's a health cell on the other side, and I want it, so... Maybe I'll give that a go in just a second. What is that? Eh. Let me save. Every time I come across a new phenomena in this game... Phenomena! Every time I come across a new phenomena... What in the hell? Oh. Okay, well, it looks like he blew open the little death trap down here. Is it a death trap? No, it's a life trap. I like life traps considerably more. And so now we have six life cells. Awesome. I like it. It's divisible by two. If you can't be divisible by five, I guess being an even number will be good enough. I don't know why, but I don't like odd numbers. I don't like those nasty prime numbers either. Prime numbers, they confuse me. The concept therein is unpleasant to mine eyes. My eyes are mines, by the way. I don't know if I ever brought that up, but I've got like this weird Fallen London thing going on right now where... My eyes are made of mines. That's the best joke that I had right there. It's all that I could come up with. Mine eyes, it's... Eh. Either that or I could have made it into like a letter sort of like punctuation thing where you have mine eyes in the middle of a sentence that blow up when you get to them. It's whatever you would prefer though. I, I still think both are a little bit weak. The hell are those floaty things over there? I don't trust this either. Save again! Oh no! No, don't do that. Absolutely not. Calm down, Darth Vader. I'm trying to Death Star everything in here. I'm not Alderan. I'm going to Alder Run, though. As far away as I can from your laser. So this little guy, maybe we got to get him to blow this up. I don't know how we... Can he... How does he shoot that gap? Maybe I can hit him when he comes across and it bounces him up or something? Okay, that didn't work. Well... He seems to spawn out of this little pile of muck and stone. So maybe we'll be able to make this work. What happens if I shoot him? It does give him a little hop when I shoot him. So that might be the way that we're supposed to do it right there. Let me see if I can do it here. It gave him a little crow hop, but... Maybe if we use the AoE? Maybe that's how we do it. Ah, that didn't do it either. Well... Of all the launching mechanisms that are available... Uh, don't zap me! No! Why zap me when I'm trying to solve a puzzle? It seems like the cruelest thing to do. My brain is occupied with other stimuli. And you just have to come up in here causing problems. We, I don't think the little red laser is going to help out with that because things tend to match in this game, I think. Like the things that we blow up, they're blue. And then the things that he blows up are green. I'm not going back down there. That laser is a problem. A major problem. And I don't want to be part of it any longer. We can't get through there. Where can we go then becomes the question. Maybe we actually can't interact with this for right now. Here, come this way. There you go. Enjoy exploding yourself. It was a short life, but he liked to live explosively. It's what made him happy, so why be angry at him? Ah, oh, no, I did it again. I did it again. That laser. There's lots of instant death in this game from what I can tell so far. Oh, it brought us back down below the laser. Okay, well, that saves us a whole bunch of effort because we didn't even need to go up there in the first place. I'm going to try and be crafty about my platforming right here and see if I can work my way around without having to fight that guy because I don't feel like dealing with it right now. We don't deal enough damage to him. He's got too much HP, and so it becomes an ordeal to get rid of him. got to sit here and just, like, spam on him for a while. And while as a native Hawaiian, I do enjoy spam every now... I'm not native, I guess. I, I'm a quarter... I don't come from Hawaii, but my family lives all in Hawaii, and I'm a quarter native Hawaiian, I guess. My dad's a lot more Hawaiian than I am, I suppose, so there it is. However, I do enjoy spam 
you know, shabu shabu and loco moco and all that good stuff. I grew up eating it. So there it is. If you've never had Hawaiian food, I highly recommend it. It is one of my favorite things. Lots of teriyaki and beef. And actually, the whole thing is really, it's sort of an interesting amalgamation between Japanese culture and Hawaiian culture when you really think about it because they've both reappropriated each other's foods and like combined them into something new and further like I guess ethnicception I don't know it's pretty awesome though it's pretty good most Hawaiian places you can get sushi and all kinds of other stuff as well as classical Hawaiian foods pretty awesome pretty awesome I'm gonna try and get up here before this giant ow okay so there's a spike pit right there that I didn't see alright so that's troublesome definitely dealing with some fauna right there that are not fans of our shenanigans oh no uh. no axe why you do me like that why you do me like that axe I don't know that this goes this way I don't know that this goes this way hmm I may have made a mistake requiring a reset ow I'm stuck no don't be stuck little buddy Alright, well, being dead is better than being stuck, I guess. We'll go back for right now. I got stuck in the ground right there, so... That's cool. That's cool. I can deal with it. Doesn't drive me that crazy. I was actually thinking about suiciding anyways, just to get out of that situation. Jump through that and over that. See, every now and again I do something entertaining with my platforming skills, but most of the time they're just abysmal. Alright, so both crystals acquired. Back over to the other side. I don't know if I can make that jump from right there. I could not. I could not. I was hoping that I'd be able to leap the entire thing in one big bound, but unfortunately, we are quite bounded. Alright, eliminate him, grab some more XP, and let's work our way back up the tree, because we've got stuff to accomplish. I don't even remember really what we were working on. I think we had to go to the Ginso tree and figure out what happened to the Spirit of Water, because that's why the entire place is dying, is because all the Spirits of Water, and like fire, and warmth, and comfort, and happiness, and music and other, you know, jovial things, fluffiness. The spirit of fluffiness has been destroyed, and unfortunately we can no longer exist in a world without a spirit of fluffiness. I'm gonna take this a little bit more slowly since last time I screwed the pooch right here with that spike pit and got stuck on top of the stone, which was slightly embarrassing. I think the only point right here is to actually switch it around so that you can push backwards, which is what I was trying to accomplish on the other side by sort of like weaseling my way through, but it ended up getting me stuck on top of the rock, so whatever. The only time I've ever been really stuck on rock is when I was listening to Asia's Heat of the Moment. It was the heat of the mimi. I like that song. Daddy, you wear your heart way. I like that song. It makes me happy. Every time that I hear it. In fact, I guess I'm still stuck on it. Let's continue to push. Yes, indeed. Push. Heave ho. Whoa, don't call me that, Ori. That's not very nice. That's not a pleasant sentiment to disseminate throughout the world. And then straight up the side we go. Eliminate that little guy right there. It's a good thing we're so proficient at climbing. Oh, Okay, so apparently we've been robbed by a Goomon. Up until five seconds ago, I didn't know what a Goomon was, but I guess they are proficient at robbery. Goomons are out there like, so that's how it's going to be, huh? Just because one Goomon stole from you, all Goomons are guilty? That's how it's going to broad brush much? Broad brush much, Mr. Painter? Like, well, I mean, the only Goomon that I've met thus far stole and also killed this super awesome tree back here. But I guess we have to find that, that little orby thing goes in that slot so that the tree will then be open to us. This is essentially like the drinks and dinner in a movie for the tree so that we can like get all up inside it and, you know, handle those tasks that we needed to task. Goomon, no! You know not what you do! He's like, I know what I do. I'm holding on to this shiny. This shiny is the coolest thing that's ever existed in this forest and I want it. I know exactly what I do. I do's the robbery. Oh, no. That was not... Oh, Ah! What are you? I mean, you're dead right now, so that works out, but that one's still shooting at me. I'm a tag concerned for my safety right now. Oh, we murdered it. That's good. 
Nothing like a little bit of murder to solve your major forest-related problems. Your forestry-related needs. So, since I missed so many things up here, I think it might be wise of us to go back through and see if maybe I can... Okay, so that's where I already was. And then this down here will more than likely house... Ah, Spirit Orb. So now we've got three ability cells that we can fill out, which is pretty good. They start to cost more than one, though, I think, further down the tree. I was taking a look at it, and I think they get more expensive a long time. So we'll have to take a look at that in just a second and verify my assertion, because obviously I'm never too sure about anything I say on this channel. Half the time I just say dumb shit, and then people, like, call me on it. I'm just like, well, damn. I guess that sorts that out now, doesn't it? Eliminate a few more enemies. There we go. And forward we ride. Do a gainer off that rock right there because it pleases me to do gainers. And so what do we have here? We got some more of those little thingamadoobies. Gumon's pretty good at gymnastics. Additionally, activating ancient mechanisms. What a weird skill set to have. Oh, no. What the? No. Okay, so what the hell is going on right now? I think that right there, yeah, the purple explosives look like they take out those. Oh, and it's each. Oh, God! This whole thing is sort of terrifying. Ah, please don't shoot me with your ridiculous tentacle artillery. I think I saw the first one on accident. Oh, no, that one opened. Alright, so I need to... Oh, I don't want to kill you. It looks like... Okay, so do I need you to destroy this right here? That's what they call lucking through a puzzle right there. Big time. Ow. Here, you stop that right now. I'm going to eliminate you for a second. Because you don't appear to be firing in the direction I need you to be firing. Let's go track down some health. Are those destructible? No, they're not. So I guess those are just going to be there no matter what we do. Ugh. They're both being there and being square. Is he going to come back? I hope he comes back. There we go, he came back. Ow, if it hits me, it doesn't count either. There we go. Okay, so now with one health left, we've managed to make it to right here. Let me save, and then we're going to use our save to increase our capabilities here. We've got charge flame burn, so we can increase the radius right there, and then we can allow the spirit flame to damage two targets at once. Is that three to each target, though? I don't know exactly how that would work. I guess we'll go right there so that we can save more frequently, and then we'll go two in right there. I'd like an increase in DPS. If we can damage multiple... I forgot to put the map stone in, didn't I? We went to all the trouble of picking up that map stone, and I never applied it to the orifice to which it was specially assigned. Was it that one right there? Or was it that one right there? I think it was that one right there. I'll go back and I'll get it in a little bit. It's not a big deal right now. I think we're going to have to backtrack anyways in a little while, so... I'm not going to be too concerned. Give me my crystal! Hell yeah! Every magical adventure begins with crystal, and also the loss of one's teeth. It's pretty good at dodging lasers for kind of a bulbous little orb with legs. Ow. Okay. That's what I get for not paying attention. I can appreciate that. I accept my punishment for rushing and trying to move forward. See, and it showed it in the animation, too. That's the big problem right there, is that it showed it to me, and then I was like, Ugh! This is like somebody showing you a pointy stick and being like, don't poke your eye out on this, and then headbutting it anyways five seconds after. Welcome to the world of Splattercat. Oh, no! Why would you do that, Healthstone? Okay, so, so I can avoid the animation. I'm just going to do that right there. Jump up there. Jump right there. Alright, so at least we got the timing down. That's cool. Over in here, where has Gumon gone? Gumon gone. Can I jump that right there? No, I can't. I was going to say, I want that ability orb up there. Ability orbs make me happy. But it looks like we're just about out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Ori and the Blind Forest. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I'm having a blast with the game. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you all there. Hi to everybody.